friends welcome to the course modern e6 with projects my name is navendu viswas and i am your instructor for this course about myself i am a full stack javascript developer and i am having 16 years of it experience out of which past 10 years as a web developer currently i am working as an associate architect in one of the top firm in bangalore so let's get started so in this course we uh, we are going to first see the syntax changes in es6 then we are going to learn about module and classes then we are going to learn about the array helper methods they were in es5 also but they have a new type of syntax in es6 and they are much better and uh, then we will look into symbol a new primitive data type then we will look into iterators and generators then we will look into promises and async await also then after that we will look into map and sets after that we will go through or we will make four projects with es6 so and before this let's see so es6 before es6 we should know what is javascript because javascript was uh, is the language which is also known as ecmascript and javascript was developed by brendan each in 1995 and it is very famous that it was developed in 10 days so there were a lot of bugs because he was uh, he was in a hurry because he had to bundle it out with a netscape uh, browser which was coming in that time so he had to make it in 10 days and there were a lot of bugs there are famous bugs with var and all those things are there so it is named javascript because java was quite popular at in those days and they want to encash that but it is totally different from java not a single thing is related to uh, uh, java so and it is governed by the acma committee so that's why i told it is also known as acma script so versions are generally numbered like es1 and so the previous big version was es5 which was released in 2009 so es6 is also a version so let's check what is es6 es6 is a next version uh, of javascript which was released in 2015 by the acma technical committee and it added very new features to javascript which was demanded for a long time the modern features the features are very modern so that's why this course to look into those modern features of es6 so es6 when it was released in 2015 browsers started supporting it slowly and now in 2020 after 5 years most of the browser completely support all of the features of es6 except ie11 which was always the case so even as you might know ie11 is not that much supported by microsoft because they are moving towards edge edge browser so there is a site which shows the compatibility of es6 features so let me open that see and see this is i11 you can see most of the features are not there they are red means not there green means they are there and everything else from firefox and everything for even for edge chrome everything the features are there so this is this is uh, what about es6 so it is a very good time to learn es6 now so we will start with the next chapter thank you